Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play with Uncle Jay. I'm your host, your Uncle Jay, or uh, some guy on the internet. <laughs> Probably your Uncle Jay. Um, I feel like doing some work. It's the weekend for me. It's a Saturday morning, and I feel like doing some stuff, but I feel like not recording. I just kind of want to play the game, so I want to give you a view of what things are like before I just start playing here, okay? So first off, here's the slime farm, right? You remember this? I'll probably do some work on this over the weekend. And uh, we're going to cut out and cut back in in this episode, you know, and, and I'll show you what I've done. Oh, that was weird. Over the weekend. Uh, so I'll probably do some stuff down there. The farm will probably stay the same. Houses. Oh, man, there's a lot of vines on this house. Uh, I did this, uh, just kind of a walkway. I'll probably put a roof on this or something. I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to promise that I'm going to, like, do a bunch of things. Excuse me, little belch, and not do them. Uh, let's go check out upstairs, because I've done a little bit of work, but there's still a lot to be done. So I started kind of working out the inside area for this thing. Also, I'll probably put a door here, maybe pull this stuff up. The big problem area, though, is right here. I just, I don't really know what I want to do yet. And I want to figure something out really nice, but I've got a lot of work here left to do. And let me show you the farms that got moved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so if you remember, we had cacti and uh, what was the other one? Cactus and pumpkins. Cactus and pumpkins over here. Those are moved now. This portal. I don't love the portal. Uh, I, or at least the placement of it. So I moved the cocoa beans here. Cacti are here now going into that. Just, just two of them. I don't need a ton. And we've uh, moved our other farm here. Uh, this, obviously, still has a lot left to do on it. Uh, like, an entire building. <laughs> and this is going to be a chicken launcher. So I've been launching chickens that way. Where, those, where you see those stone bricks over there, that's where the eggs have been landing. And let me show you how this thing works real quick. Because uh, it's been a while since I've shown this. I, I did it on the server before, but uh, not never in single player or anything. And it's been a while since the server. So when I put eggs in here, it's going to give a signal out of uh, this comparator. This comparator then powers this comparator, uh, which starts a, t uh, a clock here. So then uh, the only reason this is here is so that the signal doesn't go up there. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Then... The signal branches off, sends power to this, which sends power up here, triggers this dispenser. Uh, at the same time, it branches off, and one, two, three ticks later. That's weird. You know, I remember I had one... Let's try something. Let's try something right now. I should be able to do this with just one repeater set to three ticks. But... <clears throat> Three ticks later, so that it shoots the egg out. Three ticks later, this gets powered and shoots it up into the air. So let's take a real quick look at this. Uh, yeah, let's do eggs. Bam. So see it, see it flying? So the idea here is that I want to have kind of a chicken farm over on this side, and I want it to launch chickens over here, and then over here is where we're, uh, oh, where's this one going? I'm sorry, chicken, you gotta go. Uh, over here is where we'll probably, you know, put the chickens out of their misery. <laughs> uh, there's one. And where's that going? Yeah, okay. So I want to catch the chickens here and have a little kind of maybe a building to, to kill them in or decide what you want to do. Do you want eggs? Do you want, uh, uh, Chicken, cooked chicken, or, you know, what do you want? And I'll, I'll set that up there. But this is generally the area, and uh, like I said, it's a Saturday morning, and I feel like just working. I don't, I don't, it's weird to record stuff, because you kind of feel like, you know, oh, I gotta get this done, I've gotta do this, I've gotta do that, and it's really hard to just kind of do a lot of a little, you know, a, a lot of little things. It's hard to do that when you're recording. So... We're going to stop here, and we're going to come back at probably at the end of the weekend, and we'll see what kind of stuff I pulled off. So let's, uh, let's fade out and fade back in. All right, we're back in the slime farm, and uh, I've been doing a lot of work in this little tunnel, but most of the work that I've been doing is up on the surface. Let's get up there real quick. 
I decided I want to do a really, really big episode right now. So this is going to take a long time to record. Uh, but I'm basically overhauling our whole thing here <laughs> and adding tons of stuff. So I've got this slime building here. I have a lot of detail stuff I've got to do. I haven't really done many details yet on anything, but, uh, this is it so far, right? We've got some green stained, some lime stained and dark oak. Uh, but the real stuff to show is pretty much around this corner and through the tunnel. So first off, right, I've got a roof on this guy now and I love looking at it from underneath. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I haven't really done much upstairs here yet, at least not like a whole lot. That's that's definitely in the plans, though. Uh, also, I moved the portal back. I kind of did this stuff around it just to kind of spruce it up a little bit, you know, give it a little give it a little zazz, and carpeted some stuff. And I kind of did this nether rack or nether brick stuff, so it's like it's coming out of the nether. Still tons of work to do on that. You're looking at first draft stuff right now, and I'm going to continue working uh, off camera. Custom tree that I hate. <laughs> I don't like that tree. This, okay, so our launcher is there, and our lander is here. Let's take a real quick look at the launcher building. Whoa. Where is that guy? You heard that, right? Whoa. Okay, he's got to be... In the wall somewhere. I'll find him later. Let's turn him down for now. Let's do, uh, bam. I'll find him. I'll find him off camera. But you know how this works, right? It's got, you know, our comparator coming off. It starts a clock. Signal comes down here. Powers the dispenser. Three ticks after that, it powers that guy, right? Easy peasy stuff. Also, uh, I've got it splitting off right now. And there's a piece of, yeah, you can kind of see the hitbox. There's a piece of redstone right here, comes down here, goes into here, and basically eventually, well, I'm sorry, it powers this block, comes out, and powers that right there, which has sand under it, which is how it's doing uh, that sound. And I like to think of the sound as like a paddle hitting an egg, and it's flying over that way. So look. So when you get it far enough away that you don't hear the piston, all you hear is kind of this paddle sound that I really like. Chickens all land over here. We're going through this really fast, by the way. So I've got a timer here. See? So every, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever it ends up being, um, this stuff comes up here, sends power into this, uh, which is on a sticky piston. So as soon as this block gets power, it goes into here, power comes out, and it powers the sticky piston, pops that up in the air, and you end up with a one tick pulse that I have split off here. So one tick goes into here, and then three ticks after that, it powers this. So you end up with um, a real quick pulse to turn it on and a real quick pulse to turn it off. See, that's what happens. Now let's take a look at the switches that I set up here. One for the launcher, one for the auto killer. We'll look at the auto killer first. So the button is on the other side of this. It takes power out right right here, goes into this. Also a sticky piston, so one tick pulse. The one tick pulse goes into this sticky piston, which pushes or pulls, you know, this uh, uh, slime block attached to a redstone block. And let's look at that up here. So, when this is up in the air, it powers the light, and it also sends power this way, and, oh, <laughs> if power comes off of this block, then this torch is on. This torch gets turned on, it powers the piston. The piston gets powered, the block goes up in the air, and the pulse never makes its way through here. So that's how we turn off the auto killer, and basically turn this thing into egg mode. That's that's really what it's there for, so we can just go, let's just get some eggs for a while. Uh, the signal on this side, wait, not auto kill, the signal on this side, the launcher, does the exact same thing up here, right? Turns the light on, and it comes off the back to uh, uh, this torch, this redstone torch, which powers down here, and goes all the way back to the launcher uh, building. And the signal just kind of locks things up there. Like it extends the piston, it uh, uh, t keeps power on the dispenser so that it you know never actually turns off, right? Uh, it basically just locks the system. This is my least favorite building so far, but I've been starting out, like starting to work on details for it. And 
In typical me fashion, I've gone a little too far, and I'll probably have to dial it back. But I have kind of an idea. I want to do something with all these villagers. First off, I need to process them better, and I need to be able to send them this way or that way, depending on what they are, you know. And I want to have an actual village area for them, but I'm not sure where it's going to be yet. Uh, but I want to make buildings and stuff that they can hang out in. Basically, all the villagers that I don't care about. All the guys that don't have... Am I wearing a cape? Huh. All the guys that don't have... Uh... Hey, there we go. <laughs> that don't have good trades and stuff. I'm just going to kind of release them into the wild. But I want to gate off an area of a bunch of buildings where they can hang out. You know, I can have some villagers hanging out. So that's kind of our progress update for now. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to get back to. Details and trying to work out buildings. And don't worry, we're going to do stuff on camera together. But I just wanted to give you a, a quick update of what's been going on. And let you know, this episode is the biggest one that we have done yet. In, at least in single player. Hands down in single player. So, let's, uh, let's fade out and fade back in. Why isn't that... Oh, there we go. Huh. Hey, that's taking a second. Okay, fade out, fade in. All right, we're gonna try to get this villager over to a little uh, kind of villager staging area that I've been setting up. I've, I've been kind of working actually in creative, sort of secretly for a while now, uh, trying to come up with kind of a villager dispenser thing where uh, they can go to an area and it just kind of locks them in a cell. But it hasn't really worked out. So I've got kind of a, a different version here-ish ready to go. But I just got to test it out. Come on, get over there. Get, get, get. All right, let's get this stuff knocked up. Because I only have so many rails. Hey, hey, hey. No, you don't. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Now let's make this safe real quick for these guys. That should be enough right there. Okay, come on, buddy. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. You can do it. Oh, I ran out of rails. <laughs> Boom, ba doo, ba doo, ba doo. We're going way over this way. Uh, I just, I kind of want to start expanding this whole town thing into different directions. Just because, you know, everything's been kind of, uh, what's a good word? Confined. You know, everything's been pretty much over there, and I just started spreading here. And I went, you know what? I have all this space all over the place that I'm not really doing anything with. And uh, I want to remedy that. I want to fix that right now. Uh, uh, going forward, anyway. I want to start using the other space. I feel like I'm missing something. Aha! I was. Bam! Okay. Do 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 do. I wish I had more rail tracks so I didn't have to do it like this. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let's get uphill. Yeah! There you go. You got it. I should name this guy something. You know what? If he passes the test. I'll probably maybe hold on to him and name him... I don't know, actually. Maybe I won't name him, because I think I only have, like, two name tags right now. Maybe I won't use it on this guy. But we got to see if this works first. Get going. Mm -mm -mm. I can do this. Come on. I want to have a whole villager, like, trading area. Kind of like how that is, but I want it to be better, you know? And I want I want a couple areas. I want one area for villagers to just kind of hang out. And I want another area to have them kind of confined, like enclosed to these little cells. Uh, just the guys that I care about trading with, though. You know? Well, maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's do that just in case. And I can't remember how I set this thing up now. Get going. Oh, come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. That's not a real song. And do, 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 do. is my music on? My music's on, isn't it? Sorry about that. That's got to be distracting. I always hate, uh, you know what else I hate, but I, I can't, I can't do without it, is uh, hostile mob sounds. I don't like that I have them on and, you know, you watch this video and you hear a zombie and you probably, if you're playing Minecraft, you probably think a zombie's coming after you. I, I don't like doing stuff like that. Okay, so here's the deal. Normally, I had a pressure plate on this, and I had the signal invert. So if they were, and it was actually down one block. So if they were standing on the pressure plate, it would uh, not power this activator rail. If they were not standing on the pressure plate, then the torch would be lit up, just like this signal. 
and uh, they would get popped off of the activator rail and land here. But it's not working. I don't know why. I tried it in all sorts of different directions, and it's just not working. Uh, so I'm kind of just going, uh, I'm like a barbarian with it at this point. I just put a lever on it and call it good. So if I do that, he should pop out and land here and be trapped in this little cell. And if I do that, then he keeps going down the line. So the idea is to have a bunch of these lined up. And just pick where you want the villagers to start going. So let's see if this will hopefully... Oh, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that either. Okay, you know what? Do that. Fine. Let's pop this off and put the powered rail back down. That should help. Powered rail. There we go. Now, get on there. Get on. You know better. There we go. Uh, let's get him all the way up against this block so we get some good momentum. And... Okay, that's on, so we should pop off. Please pop off. Success! Great success. We did it. We did it. Okay, get out of here. Get back down there. And this guy, of course he doesn't have any trades that we care about. But okay, that's going to be him. So I'm going to keep this going. And I also, though, have something that I want to do right now. A lot of this land is very boring, I realize. Because, you know, after I cleared the forest, I kind of left it pretty flat. Like, it's, like that's all right. That's a nice area there. But most of where I am right now is, you know pretty flat and uh, flat's just not interesting so I had an idea and I really hope it works because I just put in a lot of effort getting it to hopefully work go hmm oh 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 yeah 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 there it goes and there we go and that's how we're going to flood the land and make it nice. We'll have a nice big lake here. Man, I went through a lot of TNT just then. Not even a lot of TNT, a lot of gunpowder. <sighs> I was hoping that would be a little more epic. But <laughs> here's the land that we're dealing with now. I wonder, did everything go off? I think it did. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to fill this out. It's going to be nice and... Fancy, I hope, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I do here. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I've been doing a little detail work, and I did something with this tree. Number one, I threw in fences, jungle fences, uh, spruce fences. I think maybe an oak or two. Um, I also kind of made these little dangly things. But something else that I did uh, to give it a little bit of depth. I've never tried this before. I gave it black stained uh, glass panes. Uh, and I just kind of put those wherever it looked like maybe the shadow should be, just to kind of, I guess you could say, add some definition to it, you know? So it looks a little more rounded or deep in uh, in some spots. And I, I like it. I really like it. I did a lot of, like, root work down here, too. And I actually, you know, I really like this tree now. A lot more than I did before, at least. Uh, I've added some details. I went really crazy on the roofs here, but I, I added a little bit of detail here and there to these buildings. They're starting to come together. I've, you know, I almost tore half of this building down. I was like, you know what, maybe it'll just be like a ruin of a building. Thankfully, I didn't though, and I just kind of powered through it and worked. I haven't really done anything with that yet. And this, all, I, all I've done so far is just kind of even it out. You know, I smoothed it over a little bit. Uh, but I don't want to do too much here just yet because there's a cave down there that I still haven't finished exploring. So we're going to have to check that out. But I'm, I'm really up in the air, actually, while we're looking at this. I'm really up in the air between whether I want to make this like a giant lake or if I want to put like a dam up here. And kind of have a road come down into another area with a couple buildings and, and that kind of stuff. I don't... I'm not really sure what I want to do. You know, big, big cool lake or big cool area for buildings. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I realized something about my villager trades over here. Uh, specifically the librarians. And that's that librarians actually have three enchanted book trades. And I had only unlocked two on each of them so i was sitting here thinking i didn't have any good trades and you know man maybe i'll use them for paper trades or something hang on hang on maybe i'll use them for paper trades or something 
But uh, then I started unlocking the third trade. So we've got Respiration 2, right? We've got a Looting 3, which is pretty good, but it's 45 emeralds. That's not that good. But then a Silk Touch 1 for 9 emeralds. This is a great guy. This is going to be a really, really good friend to us. Also, let's see what this guy's got. Because a few of them have really good ones. Yeah, Efficiency 4, that's a great trade. Actually, I didn't even look at the price. I don't think it was that much, though. Yeah, 19 diamonds, or 19 emeralds for Efficiency 4. That's great. That's really great. Yeah, Blast 2. But uh, there's a good handful. One of the guys in there, a librarian, has, I think, Sharpness 5 and Smite 5. So there are, are really, really good trades around here with these guys. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to put the librarians, because they have paper trades, I'm going to put them in our giant sugarcane farm, which also, by the way, I added details to, and it's it's coming close. I mean, I, I really didn't think I was going to make a lot of progress on it. I was wrong. I was wrong. I made a lot of progress on that. And I'll show it to you in a second, but uh, we're going to follow a villager over... Oh, 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 do I have glass on me? No. Uh, let's do that so we can't get that way. And, yeah, that should, that should be okay. We'll knock this out. And then get him on one of these rail carts here, I hope. Huh? Yes, thank you. Okay, how do I get up there? I think I can do it this way. Oh, nice little trick with fences, by the way. If you put a fence down on the ground by itself, you can't, you know, jump over it. You put a fence under that, though, you can stand up a little bit higher and jump. It's great. It, like, moves you a half a block up or so. But we're going to push this guy and then hopefully follow him. I really hope. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. There. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hang on. Ugh. No, I don't, I don't want him going this way. Oh, you, why? All right. Now, let's see. I hope that works. Okay, guy, come on, we're going, we're going. Off we go, and I'm right behind you. Ha! We can get a good look at some of the stuff that I've been up to here. I'm gonna try to talk up. Oh, upside down stairs, I got guys spawning on them. Uh, he, oh man, yeah, we missed a lot of this building, I'm sorry, I'll show you on the way out. There we go. Okay. Whew, so I've got to get this guy in there. How am I going to do that? Knock this door out, hopefully without hitting him. And maybe I can uh, just push him slowly inside. Actually, hey, I can't push him slowly inside. Alright guy, you're going to hang out in here in a minecart for a little while. I want to have this guy and his buddies kind of roaming around, uh, but not until I get some fences up and stuff. For now, we'll just have them up here in some minecarts. So let me show you around and get a bunch of paintings loaded up. Uh, let's come up from downstairs where I won't give any spoilers. Okay, we're coming up from downstairs. Open that up, and here's our main room now. You can get a nice little, like, outside, well, an okay outside view from here, right? So I did a stair and slab, so it's a little bit lower so that you can actually look around, which is nice. Uh, we've got a kind of hidden, not hidden, but a, you know, back room here, another view, and just maybe I put some storage in there or a bed, I don't know, you know. It's just an extra room. Uh, the upstairs you get to, like that. I can put a bed here or, you know, whatever we want. Uh, little details like that, I, I like this. I'm very happy with that. Just that little thing. But if you come out this door the same way that we came up, you could actually hang a right and come this way. So I've got a, uh, started doing some work here. It's kind of like open to the outside and, you know, hmm. Maybe I should do that just so that no, like, baby zombies can get through. Eh, I'll figure something out. Uh, and then what I did with the roof, instead of going like really crazy, is I just extended the land here so it's on top of the roof. It really, really, really saved me a lot of time and effort trying to figure out how this roof was going to go by just going, you know what, maybe it just goes into the land 
And if we want, we can do another building on top of the land, which would be great. There's a way down, and I, oh, it's over here. Here we go. And then we've got a really tight, tight area here for, uh, well, maintenance stuff, you know, back this way. But I'll probably, um, excuse me, I think I might sneeze. <coughs> I'll probably put a, a chest and stuff here. But for now, I wanted to do, you know, cover up some of this stuff with hopefully some too high paintings if I get lucky. Hmm? Like that. How's that? Ah, okay, that'll work, that'll work. And let's do pff, a small one and maybe another small one, which of course ends up being the same painting. Uh, yay! Wait, no, it's the same one again. I wish you could right-click on paintings or shift right-click or something and it would start cycling through the paintings. I'm up here because I think one of them, yep, popped off and came up here. Uh... Yeah, paintings could, uh, paintings could definitely use a little love. Uh, them and boats, that'd be great. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. And we're just gonna cover up a lot of this glowstone with... Actually... Actually... You know what? You know what? Just on those two, I think we're gonna do... This. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boom, boom, get off. Hey. Anything? No, okay. And you and you, come on off. There we go. That's better, I think. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, maybe we, uh... Maybe we'll do paintings on this side then. <laughs> huh? And, huh? I need it. It needs to be at least the same painting. Come on. I can't take up all my time cycling through paintings here in Minecraft. Get it together. No? And now I'm not getting the food. You know what? We're going with that one. And let's knock that. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Same painting on both sides. Uh, too high and maybe another too high here. Just to cover up the glowstone. That's all we're doing. Um, maybe I'll come through at some other time and really mess with this. But for now, come on. Maybe we'll do a two by two right here as well. Yeah, okay, why not? And then... Sure. Sure, that's fine. We'll do that. Huh. There we go. So now we've got our lighting covered up, and... Uh, you know, let's put a, just a couple chests down. We'll say, uh... Just like they're hidden next to the stairs. Not hidden, but right, right next to the stairs. There we go. So we can take our sugar... <gasps> that's not gonna work. <laughs> Hang on. I can't open that one up. Mm -mm. And we'll go there. Yeah, that'll work for now. Uh, also, you can come out this way and then jump way down into the lake. Pretty neat, right? So let me get a couple more guys in here and then uh, we'll come back and we'll probably sign off right there. Well, this is interesting. Um, so this guy's here now, right? Uh, our smite 5, efficiency 5, I think, or efficiency 4? No, I'm sorry, sharpness 5. Uh, but our silk touch guy is gone. Yeah. I think just in the time that I was over there doing this, maybe a zombie came through and killed the guy. And we lost our silk touch book. <laughs> so... Guys, oh well, you know, hey, stuff happens. Actually, let's go up to, uh, let's go up to where there's a neat little view and just block that off, totally block that off so nothing's gonna get in. I can't, but, man, man, that was such a nice trade. I can't believe that. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. Oh well, stuff happens. So let's take a real quick look from here, haha, now you can see kind of what I've been up to, right? I put a lot of glowstone, a lot of trap doors, did a lot of little work on this thing, and I'm, I'm really happy with how this is all kind of turning out so far. I love watching the eggs launch, too. Um, but yeah, let's turn here, here, let's see. Uh, uh, hey, there we go. So guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. Anthony Dominic, love you very much. Hopefully I'm sitting right next to you right now while you're watching this. If I am, don't look at me because I'm looking right at you right now. 
And uh, everybody else, hey, what's going on? You guys are cool. Shh, 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 our secret. You're not here. You're not here. It's just us. Anyway, uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care again and bye-bye.